Hello. So, I thought I would document uh, the surgery that I'm going to have in my left knee, um, which is the AMIC procedure. AMIC stands for Autologous Matrix Induced Chondrogenesis. There's a lot of technical words there, but I will explain what the procedure is and um, and sort of the, the recovery that is expected. Um, so yeah, the reason why I'm doing this is because I really haven't seen uh, many people document this this surgery. I've done quite a lot of research, I've read a lot of articles, but I just haven't really seen any anybody document it themselves. Um, I've seen the microfracture, which is a very similar surgery, it's just without the chondro tissue, um, but not the amic procedure. So first... A uh, bit of background on my knee. Uh, ten years ago, I had an ACL reconstruction. Um, kind of initial complications, but got through it and had about six or seven years of being pain-free, going back to sport. Um, <clears throat> and then I started developing pain again in my left knee um, and had a clean-up. Uh, and actually I had, I developed a cyclops lesion after the ACL. Uh, and so that was the cleanup that I had a couple of years ago now was through Keyhole. It was supposed to be a quick recovery, you know, six weeks or so. Um, and it just never got better, it actually got worse and worse um, to the point where I just get pain going up and down stairs on a day-to-day -day basis. I've learned to live with it, but it's time to do something about it. So uh, the latest MRI scan showed that I had uh, delaminating cartilage uh, in the patella, um, and I've got three and a half centimetres worth of cartilage that is partly delaminated or delaminating, leaving bone on bone, which is where I'm getting the pain. Uh, and uh, so if it was one to two centimetres, I think I could have gone for the micro fracture um, procedure. Um, but because it's considerably more than that, it's three and a half ish centimetres, um, the success rate of doing the micro fracture, I think, would be low. Um, and that's why my surgeon has recommended the AMIC procedure. So what is the AMIC procedure? I think what they're going to do, to my knowledge, is um, they're going to uh, scoop up the damaged cartilage, the area of, of damaged cartilage. They're going to sort of smooth the edges um, and then they're going to drill some nano holes into the bone, uh, which will in turn release some bone marrow and, and stem cells uh, and form a sort of blood clot. I'll put the chondro tissue on top uh, and then they'll patch it up with some glue. Uh, and so hopefully over time, uh, the cells will work together to regenerate and form a biocartilage, which should hopefully mean that I will be pain-free for, for some time. Um, and the whole point of this is you know, I'm 30 years old, I think still too young to have a full knee replacement. So I think this is the sort of first step to try and uh, prolong the need of a, a knee replacement. So hopefully it gives me 10, 15 years if I'm lucky. Uh, <clears throat> so recovery, uh, I think it's going to be a, a tough one. Um, so because of the area of damaged cartilage, it's in my in my patella um, and obviously post-surgery, I'm going to have to be uh, with a straight leg, uh, non-weight bearing for six to eight weeks. So that's going to be, that's going to be tough. Um, and then obviously recovery after that. Um, ho hopefully I'll be walking around a three to four month um period is is from what I've read and hopefully if it goes to plan that's that's the aim uh, and then full recovery at 12 months um, so 
currently in in the um in London in my hotel bedroom and my surgery is tomorrow so right now if I kind of look at my knee and it's weird because I can bend it and everything now and knowing that I won't be able to do this for eight weeks um so a lot of cracking and popping um pain when going straight and yeah any sort of weight at a specific angle just gives me some really really sharp pain so fingers crossed this does the job I'm feeling optimistic about the surgery um, it's in London Bridge Hospital in London and my surgeon is Ian McDermott uh, read great things about him uh, he's so passionate about what he does and you know he specializes in these sort of complex surgeries um and new and innovative surgeries uh, so i know i'm in good hands um and let's just hope it works so yep let's go for it and i will see you in my next video which I guess will be when I've woken up from surgery. Alrighty, cheers.